Hello friends, in this video, we are going to discuss the third method of triggering of a SCR that is a DV by DT triggering. It is also known as high DV by DT triggering. Okay. As here DV by DT, it indicates the rate of change of voltage with respect to change in time. Okay, so dV by dt, dV indicates the change in the voltage across the SCR, very important, divided by dt, that is the change in the time. Okay, so let us discuss how the dV by dt, how the more or the high value of the dV by dt will help to the SCR, right, to switch from blocking mode to the conduction mode. Okay, so first of all, recall the basic structure of the SCR. Okay, so SCR is a PN, PN device. It consists of four layers and three junctions, right? So it is a PN PN device. Here it is a anode, cathode, and the gate. Okay, so supply voltage Vs. The positive plate of the VS is connected to the anode of the SCR. The negative plate is connected to the cathode of a SCR. This is RL. This voltage is VS. Okay. So suppose this is the this is a variable voltage. This current is IA. We are having three junctions J1, J2, J3. Okay. So when as the positive plate is connected to the anode, negative plate is connected to the cathode, okay. Initially our SR is in the off state, but it is in the forward bias mode. So the mode of operation will be forward blocking mode, okay. We are having the three junctions J1, J2, J3, okay. Out of that junction J1 and J3 will be in the forward bias mode because SR is in the forward bias mode, okay. And junction J2 will be in the reverse bias mode, okay. So next as we go on increasing the voltage, junction J1, J3 width goes on decreasing okay but junction j2 width is still increasing okay so here across junction j2 at the n minus layer we are having the positive charge carriers at the depletion layer okay so here we are having the positive charge carriers present next at the p side we are having the negative charge carriers okay next so as we go on increasing the voltage, definitely junction J1 is acting as a short circuit. Junction J3 is also acting as a short circuit. Okay. If we further increase the voltage, the width is increasing. Okay. Next. Means as junction J1 and J3 are acting as a short circuit. Okay. So whatever the voltage here available. Okay. So same voltage will appear at the inner P type layer, upper P type layer. The same voltage will appear at the N minus layer because this is acting as a short circuit. Okay. So whatever the potential at the anode, the same potential will appear at the N minus layer. And the potential at the anode is nothing but the potential at the positive plate of the battery. Okay. Potential at the negative plate of the battery will appear at the cathode of the SCR. The same negative plate potential will appear at the lower N type layer. The same negative potential will appear at the inner P type layer because this is junction J3 is acting as a short circuit. Okay, means can we say that whatever the voltage Vs is here, the full Vs voltage is appearing across the depletion layer which is present across junction J2. Okay, so now if you check the junction J2, if you check the junction J2, okay, so junction J2 here we are having at one side the positive charge carriers, at the second side we are having the negative charge carriers, okay. So here junction J2 is acting as a capacitor. Are you getting the point? Check, recall the parallel plate capacitor. In the parallel plate capacitor we are having uh, the we are having the some charges different charges at the upper plate next second different charges for the lower plate okay we suppose if the upper plate are having the positive charges then the lower plate charges will be the negative okay so the junction j2 is acting as a capacitor okay so let us consider cj let us consider cj is a junction capacitor cj is a junction capacitor of junction j2 cj is a junction j2 capacitor okay cj is a junction j2 capacitor okay or the capacitance right so now why we have considered the junction j2 as a capacitor because it is like a capacitor only at one side it consists of the positive charges at second side it consists of the negative charges okay so that's why junction j2 is acting as a capacitor and here we have considered the 
सीजे इज अ जंक्शन कैपेसिटर ऑफ जंक्शन जे टू ऑफ जंक्शन जे टू नाउ एज वी नो इन द केस ऑफ कैपेसिटर एज वी नो इन द केस ऑफ कैपेसिटर आई एम राइटिंग हियर एज वी नो इन द केस ऑफ कैपेसिटर यस करंट फ्लोइंग थ्रू द कैपेसिटर आई इज इक्वल टू और आई सी इज इक्वल टू सी इन टू डी वी बाई डी टी और डी वी सी बाई डी टी ओके सो हियर वॉट इज आई सी आई सी इज नथिंग बट आई ए आर यू गेटिंग द पॉइंट आई सी मीन्स वॉट आई ए दैट इज अनोड करंट विच इज सेम करंट फ्लोइंग थ्रू द जंक्शन जे टू ऑल्सो और द डिवाइस ऑल्सो सो आई ए सी इज नथिंग बट सी जे इन टू डी वी सी मीन्स वॉट वोल्टेज अक्रॉस दिस लेयर वॉट इज द वोल्टेज अक्रॉस दिस लेयर इट इज सेम एज ऑफ द वी एस ओके सो कैन वी राइट इट एज डी वी एस बाय डी टी डी वी एस बाय डी टी नाउ इफ यू चेक इफ वी इंक्रीज द वैल्यू ऑफ डी वी एस बाय डी टी इफ वी इंक्रीज द वैल्यू ऑफ डी वी एस बाय डी टी वेदर इट विल कॉज इंक्रीज इन द वैल्यू ऑफ आई ए डेफिनेटली If the value of dVs by dt increases, definitely the IA will increase. Okay. And what is the difference between the SCR is in the off state and SCR is in the on state? The difference is when SCR is in the off state, yes, the current flowing through the SCR is very very low. That is the leakage current, forward leakage current. Okay. And when SCR is in the on state, the current value is high. This is the major difference between the SCR is in the off state and SCR is in the on state. Okay. So. If we increase the value of dVs by dt, okay, to a high value, means within a short time, within a short time interval, if we increase the or if we change the value of the supply voltage by a large amount, okay, so in a short time interval, if we change the value of the supply voltage by a large amount, then definitely dVs by dt will be high. Due to that high dVs by dt, IA will be more. right so ia increases ia is more means what our scr is acting as a short circuit or scr has the scr has like a turn on or the on switch okay are you getting the point because please try to understand scr is in the off state means what the current is leakage current or the very small current and scr is in the on scr is the off state means what it is a leakage current scr is in on state means what the current value is high okay so ultimately our task is to increase the current value right so how to increase the current value so for that we are using dvs by dt to be high okay so this is nothing but the dv by dt triggering are you getting the point very important okay dv by dt triggering right so means we need to increase the value of vs to a very high value we need to increase the vs to a very high value in a short time interval in a short time interval right so this is about the dv by dt triggering in the next video we will discuss about the remaining two methods of the triggering Thank you